Hey, Jim Parquet here with uh, VPX Baseball, and today we're going to talk to you about your separation and being proportionate in your hand moves during BP, right? This is obviously something that is really needed in your swing to be proportionate with your hand move and also sequence your hand move, right? So when you go forward, your hands go back. It should not be where your hands go back and then you get forward. And I'm going to kind of demonstrate how that will affect your swing in order to see where the ball goes and the flight path and the whole thing, right? I'm a former major league pitcher and I can tell you that I know hitting because it was my job to know hitting. I also had to be one step ahead of you, that way I didn't give you your pitch at the right moment that kept my bases empty and a W in the, in the, in the column, right? So um, when I train at the pro level, that's, this is one of the first things that causes hitters to have issues. If I am not sequenced right in my separation or spread, same thing, separation, meaning hand move back and hit move forward, right? The separation, then what happens is if I am, again, if I'm not sequenced right, where they both work together and they're both proportionate, where I'm going here, there, or I'm going short, long, or long, short, I will blow open because that's what science and, and Isaac Newton's laws of motion and energy principles state, where energy will dissipate in the opposite reactionary movement plane, which will be horizontal, right? Or I will get top heavy, right? Because basically I have nothing to hold me back. Now, the byproducts of all of this and the issues that are caused by it is my hands don't stay back or you'll hear, hear guys yelling, stay back, stay back, stay back. Or your front foot does not get implanted into the ground before you swing, you're not getting your front foot down, heel connection, on goes the store. But bottom line is, this will be one of the first issues that go wrong in a swing. That separation is not proportionate and it's not sequence right, okay? I've got our VPX harness on. This baseball harness is used by some of the biggest names in the game. A ton of MLB organizations, major division one college baseball programs. The reason why is because it's taking my verbiage, what the screen says, what's going on in here and puts it into your motor pattern so you can feel. Because hitting is not mechanical. Hitting is not mechanical. I'm gonna say it one more time. Hitting is not mechanical. Hitting is movement based on how you transfer energy properly. The guy who's most efficient with it, that creates the most energy, supports it, and then uses it at the right time is gonna be the best hitter, okay? So we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna just, we got Shantan over here throwing a little uh, little overhand VP, so to speak. And I'm gonna kinda of show you in the beginning. I'm gonna warm up here so he can warm up. And I'm gonna get my posture right and do all the things that we talk about to be an impact hitter. Check out our other videos on it, but here we kinda of go, okay? And when I first start out, I wanna work the oppo portion of the of the field, which is basically shortstop to second base. Righties will work second base to second baseman. But I'm gonna let the ball get kind of deep and just work here, okay? Now that ball was in, I'm not gonna swing at everything. I'm gonna find my pitch. That ball's middle in, okay? That's all right, I'll take that, but I'm going deep on it. Good, okay? Again. Good. Okay. One more time. Okay. I'll get one more and I'll be warmed up here. Okay. So, first things first. I'm going to work on my separation, making sure that is proportionate. Proportionate basically means this, right? Not being long to short. Okay. So I'm going to do it wrong so you can see it. I'm going to have a long hand move with a short hip move, okay? Okay? I can't stay behind the pitch, and I can't stay inside of it. Watch it again. Okay? It basically creates barrel lag to barrel drag. I can't be here and be have a good swing. I just can't, okay? Now I'm gonna go with being short with my hands and long with my hips, okay? Being disproportionate that way. Okay? 
What this does is pull me forward too much. I feel like I'm lunging. My hips are out of sync. Okay? As you can see. Now, if I'm proportionate and everything, it's going to look like this, where again, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be hands and hip proportionate. Okay? Perfect. Is that out right on the corner or is that? Okay, cool. Again. Okay? Again, stay behind it. One more time. Being proportionate. Okay? Very good swings, good wood on the ball, ball's going. All right? So the last portion of this is going to be sequencing it, making sure that even though I'm proportionate, I'm not going early and then going. On your load, your hand should not move. Load, up, the hand shouldn't move. It's once I start forward as my hands move. So this would be wrong. Watch on the load. Okay? That causes a rounded swing and barrel lag when I hit it so that the ball's doing this, okay? Again, watch. I'm gonna load and move my hands in the load incorrectly. Oh, give me some time. All right, go ahead. Okay? If I try to compete in that, I'm just gonna go forward. I'm gonna shorten up. I'm gonna destroy too many problems, right? But to create the balance force and, and win the counterbalancing uh, contest here, I'm going to load, and then when I go forward, my hands go back, okay? So watch here, here we go. I'm gonna load, okay? Now that was a ball, but I'm able to keep my hands back there, right? Base hit, again. Again, up the middle, perfect again. Bad pitch, took it, but I'm still in this position where I can compete, right? That could be an off speed, and I was looking fastball, I could still stay in that frame right there as long as my hands stay back. Okay, let's move you to the back so you can kind of see that. Same thing, all right? So I'm going to be proportionate here in my load so you can kind of see how this works, okay? Where I'm being sequenced and proportionate, okay? I want the ball out or half here. Okay, again. Now see, here's the thing. I'm looking for the ball right here. Most guys would swing it, it's probably a strike. But I'm working on approach here for everybody, right? Staying good with my approach. Okay? Got my pitch. Let me get after it and whack it. Okay? Again. Got my pitch. Here's my pitch. Okay? Now, here's what it will look like if you're doing it wrong. Big hand move. Premature sequencing. Watch what happens on the swing. Okay, you can see it's pulling me this way. Okay, getting around it. Okay, I feel like on that I have to cast my hands. All right, let me go short with a long hip move. Okay, pulls me forward. Basically, what's happening is I'm not maintaining balance force here, 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 right? Because it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Balance force is very important in what you do. That's why we heel connect. That's why we stay inside of our back hip when we load. That's why we're staying in good posture and athletic positioning, right? So I'm gonna strap in here and kind of show you guys some of the uh, benefits of using this, right? Because we can sit here and talk all day long, but at the end of the day, I'm telling you, you need feel, and this gives you that feel. So when we get, when we're looking at feel, we want to make sure that I don't feel the bungees. So if I stay stacked, proportionate, right, in my moves, okay, 
and I'm creating balance four sequence, right? I don't feel the bungees. But as soon as I become unstacked in any way, shape, or form, being disproportionate, sequencing is off. Hip rotation is premature. I go at the ball like this, I feel the bungees pulling my back foot up, which tells me there's a movement and energy breakdown. And I move back to trying to stay stacked all the way through, right? So let me sequence it right and be proportionate so you can see. Okay? Why did I hit that wrong? Anyone got an idea? The reason why I hit it wrong is I saw it real good. I was like, yeah, everything was good. But then right about here is when I had the breakdown because I went this way on it rather than throw my barrel at it, right? So this gives you great feedback in all of that, okay? Let me try to stay stacked all the way through the, the movement. There it is, that felt pretty good, again. Didn't want that pitch. Okay? Now if I get on balance here, I'm gonna go at it with my front shoulder and get on stack, right? Bad separation, disproportionate. Okay, again. I'm eating up all the real estate, which causes me to get jammed on that, even though they're bad pitches. Last one, going back to what feels correct. Bad pitch, shouldn't have swung at it. Okay, last one. All right, you get the idea. Bottom line is this, be proportionate in your separation, sequence it right, and you'll have some great results. Check out all of our other videos. We've got a full line of products on our website. Um, we're gonna try to help you get to the big leagues.